get him off. Get going down there, man. Let's just get going. I'd think something with a head so small could make so much noise. It's like their entire body is like a sousaphone. Yeah. Yeah, it's like if you squeeze them, that's the noise that comes <laughs> out, you know? That's why I don't recommend squeezing guineas. They're noisy. Now, I don't try to get this too even. I like it to be a little wavy. Have some form. Yeah. Some weight. Yeah. I want it to have a little bit of shape. Kind of like blacksmithing, you know, if you got a whatever tool you got in your hands, what you use. If you got tongs, you use them as a rake in your foot fire. You yeah. Know? Same thing here. You got this nice straight flat there. You can use that as basically just a chisel. You know, if you just got something you want to want to get that edge off of there, kind of. Do that while I'm at it. Couple things there. Kind of start establishing that face line there. I know I say it a lot, but everything relates back to drawing. It does. You know, just like you're talking about making that hat kind of wavy so that it has some form. And it just made me think of just like the weight in a drawing. And that's how you sell something. Sitting on something, you kind of make it fold up like that or bunch up in places. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's all the same. It doesn't matter what you're discussing in art. If you can't get a good representation of it in your mind, you can't really make it. And that's what all this is about in a sense, is being able to get that. I'm gonna... Now, I mean, these are, a lot of these are kind of a similar pattern that you've worked with, but if you were coming up with a new pattern, would you draw it from multiple directions? No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't. No, but I see everything three-dimensionally, Right. so I cheat. My head doesn't work like I think most heads, so I can take something that's pretty much 2D and in my head I can visualize that as a 3D concept real easily. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to, I don't have that struggle, so to speak, that a lot of people would probably have there. I'm trying to see it in three dimensions. Right. For me, that's real easy. Yeah. At least I believe it to be real easy because I don't struggle with it at all. Where a lot of people, that's one of their biggest things. They say, man, I, I can't get it. You know, I yeah. can't get that right. And that's never really something I struggle with. I, uh, I'm real good at converting a 2D concept into a 3D object. It's just like this, coming up through here and, and establishing this face is obviously I'm out here on the nose right now, but I've got to leave enough for the cheek and the eye, but I want to get this wood out of my way right now. So I'm going in here and I'm, you know, coming up the bridge of the nose and just working this in to get this kind of the way I want it. And it's just good, like what I did there, establishing that brow line and things. 
is you get that all established and you're, you're it's just like in a drawing you know you go through and get your head shape and halfway through is your eye you know and then split it again that's your nose head down here and it's the same thing you're doing here you're laying that foundation you get these main lines in and once those main lines are in then doing the face is really not a big deal because everybody's afraid of faces but they're afraid of faces because they don't construct the face they they just try to carve a face and, yeah. and as long as they're you get a few planes established that are in that face it's really not a big deal but if you don't establish those planes then you're trying to make a face out in in a in space so to speak you know in that block of wood and you're just going to struggle yeah. with that but if you approach it methodically and uh, get stuff established where it belongs and obviously these are you know uh, characters not portraits portraits and so I don't have to go by portrait rules here on where everything should be and obviously the face on these Santas is somewhat distorted but the concepts the same on how I do it it's still all the same stuff and that's where it gets back to drawing and understanding some basic concepts that really make a difference on your work because if you don't understand those and you don't take time say I just cut my finger there handle that chisel that's how you cut yourself the most doing this is getting out in front yeah we are handling the chisel moving it around doing things knocking shavings off getting them out of your way <laughs> 